Hey everybody, I had something really cool. Actually, I just got a, a text from a, a parent of a kid that I've trained since he was like in, I think, sixth or seventh grade. And uh, he's a junior, gonna be a senior in high school. And you know, he's going through the college recruitment process for football. And he just sent me a text saying that Trenton got MVP at this regional combine. And I mean, I, one, it makes me proud because the kid's a, he's a great kid and a hard worker and we've put a lot of time into him. Uh, and so it's nice to see the fruits of that, that work. But it, it brought a thought to my mind and Trenton is a good athlete you know and you, he's a really good athlete and you can't do the things you can't be a collegiate uh, athlete in any sport without having some athleticism naturally gifted to you however Trenton has to work and he's done the work to get everything he can out of that and I want to mention it just made me think about like you know, the, the, all these combines and stuff that our industry has and and I don't want to be a hypocrite because our jobs benefit from having all these combines because you know athletes come in and get the training. However, I just made me want to think, like, just talk about, let's identify some of these kids that a combine may not help. Like, Trenton is a kid who, when competition enters the fold, his performance goes way up. If I'm sitting here measuring him for a 40 or a 10 or his vert, he does a pretty good job with it. But the second I challenge him, his performance increases significantly. We can put him on a line. So I'll give you an example. Uh, he went down to a camp at a college and they put all the quarterbacks on the line. They didn't, they didn't test the 40, they just put all the quarterbacks on the line and said, everybody run a 40. And he finished first. Then they took him and they put him with the receivers and he finished second. And they put him with the running backs and he finished first. And I would put my next paycheck on it that if you just lined them up individually and timed their 40s, Tritton would not have finished that high. But he's a competitive athlete. And that's, those are the kind of athletes that we want playing for us on the field. So while yes, combines and these events and stuff are really important to get in front of coaches and schools and get recruited, but this might be a message to, to coaches as much as it is to parents. Don't, they are, that is not the only way to identify these athletes and their value. Competition means everything. It's the only thing when we're talking about sports. So congratulations to Trenton. I appreciate you getting, you know, uh, all the work that you put in. And I just want to kind of plant the seed out there for, for coaches, string coaches, performance coaches, and sport coaches.